So today's video is going to be on the grapple and specifically getting two functions at once. Now, uh, this is an AV20F Frontier grapple it's on a 1025R with Hydros Plus performance and the extreme capacity pump. And I also have the John Deere third function. Some of the people out there with a third function have a diverter versus a what we call a true third function. Um, and in order to get two functions in the context that I'm using it here, you're going to have to divert your boom uh, circuit to your clamp circuit. Now, some people are set up that way, others aren't. Obviously, if you're not set up that way, clamping and curling is not going to be an option for you. But uh, this, uh, what I'm going to talk about today really also applies to two and three functions, uh, regardless of, of what implement you're using. Now, um, with a JD third function as well as a WR long, or if it's something that you've built for yourself that uses a, an independent SCV, uh, you can actually get three functions at once, meaning lift, curl, and clamp, if you've got enough fluid. Um, and we'll try to show that here. Um, but that said, uh, I do want to put my disclaimer in. I've only had this, this grapple for a couple of weeks, and I only have about 10 minutes, maybe not quite 10 minutes of experience using it. Um, I did drop it off with my dad. He used it for a couple of weeks. He loves it. Um, but when I dropped it off, I didn't have time to stay and play with it. And the next time that I came with the intents of playing with it, uh, it actually rained on it. So I don't have a lot of seat time on this. Don't blame the equipment for the operator. We'll see how good. Uh, I can get this to work. I did practice a little bit. I just warmed up the tractor. So hopefully uh, I can give you a good example of using two functions at once at the various uh, flow rates, whether it's stock or with Hydros Plus. Now, before I get started here, I do want to give some hydraulic theory here for those who are less familiar uh, about how this particular tractor works and the third function specifically, because it does make a difference uh, which type of valves you have and how you have to uh, manipulate them to get the two and three functions at once. So uh, just to start, this is an open center hydraulic system. That is the extreme capacity pump for Hydros Plus. And I'm not gonna go into exactly how it's plumbed underneath the tractor, but I think the important part is that, you know, that the first place that the fluid goes is here. This is the SCV that controls the loader and the curl. Uh, and, and here are the outlets here, and this is on all of these uh, subcompact tractors, uh, you're going to have a variable valve. So I can move it over just a little bit and get, you know, some of the flow, or I can move it all the way and get all of the flow. So um, let me pause on that. The second valve for this particular tractor is the third function. It's under the floor. I'm pointing at it. You can't see it, but it is what routes fluid to the third function. It runs it through these lines. It actually comes, you can I see it down there? Down there, it runs it through these lines and goes to the clamp function. Now, it is an electrohydraulic SCV and it's controlled, you can't really see it, but there's a momentary switch here and it's all on or all off. That is the way it's set up. Now, there are electrohydraulic uh, SCVs that are metered and you have the ability to change how much power you give to the solenoid, which determines how far it opens up. That's not what you're going to have with the third functions that are available for this tractor. If you built your own, obviously you could do that. They're certainly more expensive, and that's probably why we don't see them. They're more expensive, and they require more electronics. So, um, and, and as you probably know, in order to get two functions, you're going to have to... Um, move this in such a way that you leave fluid for the electrohydraulic to open up. Um, fluid, whether it's hydraulic fluid or water, or whatever it may be, is going to seek the path of least resistance. So it's also not um, a fixed value to say, if I open this this far, is that two gallons per minute? It is until you open the other valve. and then, because that's an easier path for the flow, this here becomes maybe, you know, one gallon per minute. And there's variability in that. And that's what makes it, you know, uh, 
a challenge for operators. You have to get comfortable doing that is because it's not a, you know, it's not a fixed amount of flow. It's going to seek the path of least, least resistance. And so you are going to have to feather this and, and deal with the fact that that opened up completely. Now, when you're feathering the loader and the curl, that to me is a little bit easier because um, it's not all on and all off. Um, the difference there though is uh, with the loader, when you're lifting, you know, you have different weights at different times. So you, you as the operator, have to handle what that feathering and, and the flow uh, is. Now, uh, last thing I'll say before we actually get into to showing the, the two functions at once, the concept here uh, is, you know, I open this up a bit. And let's say that we're in a stock tractor at wide open throttle. That's three and a half gallons per minute. If I open it here, and let's say I've opened it to two gallons per minute, that leaves one and a half for the uh, clamp function, which is what we want. But when I open this uh, momentary valve, that, that may reduce this down to one gallon per minute and shoot more into the clamp. And then, so, th so you're going to have to adjust, and that's what makes it tough. With Hydra's Plus, rather than splitting three and a half gallons per minute, you're splitting eight at wide open throttle. So if I want a speed that is, let's say, two gallons per minute curl, and I know that's, you have to think about that for a second, but if you want the same curl speed as you did with stock, rather than moving the stick this far, I only have to move it this far. And not only do I only have to move it this far, what's left for the electrohydraulic down there is six gallons per minute rather than uh, rather than just one and a half. So that's effectively what's, what makes Hydro's Plus smooth out uh, multiple functions and uh, make things work faster is you just have more flow to work with. All those sweet spots that you have to hit for two functions get, they appear in some cases because if you want to go a certain speed, uh, curl speed, you may not have anything left for your clamp. So you're going to have to, you know, you have to have more flow. So it actually creates the capability of two functions, or in some cases, it just makes them a lot easier to hit. So that's the theory behind it. Um, let me, to keep this from going too long, let me reset up the camera uh, in a good position here, and um, we'll show you what two functions look like at the various RPM and flow rates. Okay, we're back, and I'm using a wireless mic, so hopefully the Audio's decent on this. Um, as I mentioned, I already warmed up the tractor, and I'm not going to go back and forth because I want to give you the best view of the the uh, grapple. So you have to trust me on the RPMs that we're going here. So uh, let me start it up. So this tractor right now is idling at about 1150, close to 1200, and on a stock tractor. Uh, at 2,500 RPMs, that's equivalent to an idle at this for this tractor. So let me move it up to an idle. This is what your stock idle would would be. Uh, but the difference is on a stock tractor, you wouldn't have uh, near the amount of flow that you have. So this is while this tractor's at idle, we're at 2,500 RPM flow rate for uh, a stock tractor. So that's how fast your grapple's going to go. And let me pull up here and set up. See if we can get two functions at once. So. You can, you can get it, but the finding that sweet spot is a little bit tough. Here we go, let me try it again got to go so slow that you leave enough flow for the, the clamp action. And on this particular uh, grapple, the clamp cylinder is not very big, so I don't feel like you have to leave a lot, but there we go. So that's 2,500 at stock. So wide open throttle with this setup uh, is 1,900 RPMs. 
between 18 and 19. I got it at 19 right now. So let's do the same thing. This is what your plant function would look like just by itself. Let me open this up. And so you can find it. There it goes, right there. That's a nice smooth, but honestly, it's really slow. Let's try one more time here. Good setup. There we go. You hit that sweet spot and you hold your mouth just right, works fine. All right. So that was this again. This is wide open throttle, so you can see I can get two functions at once with a loader, but it's it's tough. You can do it, and it's slow. But that wide open throttle on stock tractor, totally doable. So let's jump up to 2,500 RPMs with Hydro Plus. So this is a RPM I like to run at when I'm doing work. I'm not trying to be quiet necessarily, but also don't want the tractor screaming at me. So this is what the, the grapple by itself looks like. Let me set up here. Hope that's in frame. Actually. Just so I don't have to redo this video, let me make sure that's in frame. Yep, it is. So, two functions. Oops, messed that up. So much faster. I don't know about how, how much faster it looks. on camera, but it is, to me, it's a lot faster, and, and actually functional. I'm trying not to, uh, <laughs> I don't want to irritate my neighbors with this clamping sound. That sounds kind of loud, but let's see here. Let's open it up. There you go. And again, this is 2,500 RPMs with Hydros Plus, not, you know, if you really think you need more speed, you can uh, turn it up a little bit. Let's turn it up. Uh, let's go, go ahead and go to wide open throttle, I guess. That's really, really fast. Takes a little getting used to, but it's almost too fast. Uh, let's see here. So let me do that one more time just to make sure I got good foot. It, it goes so much faster, I feel like I'm not seeing it. So, and, and yet again, don't blame the equipment for the operator. As you run your tractor and you know your grapple, you know your tractor, and you know uh, literally with just a few minutes of seat time, you get a lot better at this. I don't have, again, a lot of seat time, and I'm going from something around two gallons per minute to, and, well, I guess, probably two and a half gallons per minute to eight gallons per minute. So that swath of change is a little tough to adjust to, but if I got some seat time, you can see just how quick the third function uh, or the, the two functions at once work uh, at the higher RPMs for 
uh, Hydros Plus. Now let's do one more test just for fun. Uh, I'll take it to uh, wide open throttle for a stock setup. And let's see if we can get three functions. I don't know the, I doubt you can. I bet if you can, it's not going to be useful. And then we'll take it with wide open throttle. We'll see if we can get that with, with Hydros Plus. So 1900 RPMs. Uh, let's see here. So the my use case is going to be my my made up use case is I'm going to lift, I'm going to dump, and I'm going to open. So that didn't count. So I'm just trying to think of how I want to do this. So lift, dump, and I've got to open. Uh, yeah, no, maybe that is technically no, that wasn't doing it. Hang on, let's try it again. I think you can technically do it. I think I saw it for just a brief second. All right, again, this is three and a half gallons per minute. Lift, dump, open. Uh, you hold your mouth just right. It may be doing it right there. Uh, I gotta, I gotta give it the best shot. I don't want anybody saying you didn't try hard enough. second for a moment I had it okay. so I think we can agree that's probably not in the cards for the stock setup I don't know if it's in the cards for Hydros Plus either it's not there we go that's it That's definitely it. With Hydros Plus, three at a time, I'm not going to try to sell. And that's, I don't know if that's a selling point of saying, look, if you get Hydros Plus and you get three functions at once on the grapple. Uh, but I think that actually is useful. I'd have to, I'll make a follow up to this just to see, um, but try to do some real world and just you know, see if that even makes sense. Uh, I just made that up. Uh, here, you know, you all who have grapple uh, experience, tell me. You know, yeah, three functions would be great, or no, you'd never do that. What are you thinking? Um, so I hope this is helpful. Uh, actually, I'm a little bit surprised at how well it did it, uh, at least with the three functions at once. So I'm excited about that. Um, those of you who have a grapple, especially if you have Hydros Plus, please comment below and let us know, you know, what's been at your experience, how have you used it, how has it made it better. Um, others who are considering it or just considering a grapple, uh, feel free, ask questions, comments below. Go to hydrosplus.com. Uh, my phone number is there along with the email. Uh, please don't hesitate to reach out. I talk to people every day about Hydros Plus. I love it. Uh, answer questions uh, and, and meet some great people. So don't hesitate to call me and uh, let's talk tractors. So again, hope this was helpful, informational, and uh, thanks for watching.